KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition. This is for Monday, the 27th of July. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather unsettled this week. We're expecting a number of showers and thunderstorms around each day, with heat levels coming down. Highs most days only in the 80s. And the tropics are still active and interesting. So here we go. Here's the upper air look across the country early this morning. Again, the standard ideas in place, ridging here, easterlies to the south, westerlies to the north. But there is a trough that's digging down across the Midwest that will be uh, trying to develop southward down toward the southeast United States. And that weakness in the ridge should bring a number of showers and storms around. This morning, rain falling over much of south Mississippi and southeast Louisiana. And we'll see a number of scattered showers and storms later today. Mostly in the 70s this morning, highs today around 90, some spots holding in the 80s. There's the watch warning map. We have heat advisories for some of the spots up in the northeast United States. Flash flood watches for parts of Oklahoma, Texas, New Mexico. An excessive heat warning for parts of the southwest and also some red flag warnings up in parts of the northwest. Severe weather today, a marginal risk from Indianapolis up to Maine. This is tomorrow, risk of severe storms, a low-end marginal risk for the upper part of the Atlantic coast. And on day three, which is Wednesday, a couple of marginal risks far north and west of here. Don't expect any severe weather this week, but again, rain, yes. In fact, here's the rain for the next seven days. Heaviest rain in a zone from Oklahoma City and Wichita over toward Nashville. For Alabama, the heavier totals up in the Tennessee Valley. Rain amounts there between two and three inches. One to two inches for Birmingham, Tuscaloosa, Anniston, Gadsden. Around one inch for southeast Alabama. And again, some spots might even see more based on the pattern setting up. And the tropics. We have one system to watch, a well-organized tropical wave. And that red circle moving across the middle of the Atlantic Basin. And that uh, most likely will become a depression or storm soon. The Hurricane Center giving it a 90% chance of developing over the next five days. Here's modeling on the system, and you can see that uh, it's going to be gaining latitude and uh, passing near the Leeward Islands or just north of there, maybe just north of Puerto Rico and Hispaniola. And this is the European Ensemble. And almost all the members, not all, but almost all of them, recurve this thing just off the east coast of the United States in response to troughing over the eastern U.S., and, of course, where that recurve happens is the big question, and that's going to cause a lot of weeping and gnashing of teeth and weather offices on the East Coast down the line. Uh, this is the intensity guidance, and, again, most of the models do bring it up to Category 1 hurricane strength in 84 hours. So it does not look like a Gulf of Mexico system, thank goodness, but still we'll watch it. Here we go, model fans. Here's the GFS, the 06C run, 4 o'clock today. You can see the trough north of the state kind of denting down the ridge. And again, we'll see a number of showers and storms around later today, mostly after 12 noon. Highs uh, probably 88 to 91. Tomorrow's showers and storms becoming more numerous. Looks like a fairly wet day. Not going to rain all day, but occasional showers and storms. Highs only in the 80s. Same thing on Wednesday. Number of showers and storms about. Highs 80s, maybe low 80s in spots. And this is Thursday. Evidence uh, drier air might try and creep in from the west. Not convinced that's going to happen. We'll still maintain a good chance of showers and storms with 80s. Friday showers may be thinning out a bit as the ridge tries to rebuild. Highs in the upper 80s. And this is Saturday. That still looks pretty wet to me in uh, Sunday. So, again, for the weekend, cloudy at times. Scattered, maybe numerous showers and storms around. Highs for the weekend, probably upper 80s. And, again, this is early August. This is the peak of the heat here. When you look at the average numbers, so we'll take that. We can be easily in the triple digits this time of the year. Here's a week from today, Monday the 3rd. And again, you can see the colors of blue. That means heights below average, kind of a broad trough. And that doesn't look especially wet. But again, certainly we'll have a chance of scattered showers and storms around. 
We'll go out uh, 10 days. This is Wednesday of next week, August 5th. Heights about where they should be. No sign of any nasty, big, bad heat dome in here. And again, that looks pretty quiet if this verifies. Here's the rain for Birmingham off the European Ensemble. The mean between 3 and 4 inches. That's some good summer rain right there over the next 15 days. Some of the members run it up to 6 inches. Highs are just not that bad. A lot of 80s on the board for the next 15 days, maybe low 90s in a day or two, but no sign of any heat problems. And again, look at the new CPC outlook. This is August 3rd through August 9th, showing temperatures at or just below average for this time of the year. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can, catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today.